Hello friends, today we are going to solve another problem. It is an application of variational principle. Consider two fixed points x1, y1 and x2, y2 on xy plane. What should be the shape of the curve connecting these two points such that the curve when rotated about y axis gives the minimum surface area of revolution. So let us suppose we have xy plane and on that plane we have these two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. So this is the curve connecting these two points and when the curve is rotated about y axis then it will take the shape uh, such shape. Let so this is the geometrical shape form due to revolution of the curve connecting these two points point 1 and 2. Okay. So now a strip of uh, which is in red color is formed due to revolution of very small element of the curve ds. So let me draw the ds in magnified form. Suppose uh, this is the element ds this part that we draw here so from here to here this is suppose ds okay from the end points let me draw two mutually perpendicular lines such that uh, one is dy uh, sorry d uh, yes dy this one is dy and this is dx suppose then uh, ds will be given by using Pythagoras theorem we can write ds uh, is equal to root over dy square plus dx square okay so now take the dx square common and we will get 1 plus dy by dx whole square and outside the root dx square will be dx okay so we can write uh, ds is equal to ds is equal to uh, if you write dy by dx as y dot then ds will be equal to 1 plus root over 1 plus y dot square okay so now suppose y be the radius of the strip formed by ds revolution of ds about y axis now you see this is the strip suppose so this is the strip here of thickness ds of thickness ds and radius x okay radius x So its perimeter and that's a boundary should be 2 pi x. Now you see if you if you assume that if you have cut the strip here. So here you have cut the strip then you will get a rectangular shape. Okay like this of length 2 pi x equal to the perimeter of the strip 2 pi x and breadth is ds length is 2 pi x and breadth is ds then its area will be given by product of these two length into breadth 2 pi x into ds isn't it if you multiply these two then you will get the area of this area of the strip 2 pi x ds now replace the dx by this value then you will get is equal to 2 pi x root over 1 plus y dot square dx to get the whole uh, surface area you have to integrate this so area of the strip is equal to uh, it is obtained by integrating the area of the strip isn't it from 1 to 2 point 1 to 2 there are two points isn't it if you integrate from 1 to 2 uh, the area of the strip then you will get the surface area of revolution of the whole curve so this is the expression for area of the strip isn't it 2 pi x 1 root over 1 plus y dot square x ds so what we have done we have integrated this uh, area of the strip from 1 to 2 ok so which is going to be equal to integration uh, 2 pi integration from 1 to 2 x root over 1 plus y dot square dx so this term x into root over 1 plus y dot square it uh, let me replace this one by f ok so let me replace this one by f so where f is equal to x root over 1 plus y dot square so as f is equal to x root over 1 plus y dot square so this is not a function of y so del f by del y is 0 so del f by del y dot will be here del by del y dot x into root over 1 plus x into root over 1 plus y dot square 
so let us differentiate it using product rule you know the product rule it is simple differentiation so use your product rule consider x as first function and the term under root as second function so x derivative of the second function x into derivative of second function here it will be 1 by root over 1 plus y dot square 2 root over 1 plus y dot square then again function of function so that's why 2 y dot so differentiating with uh, the term under root okay so then again the second function derivative of the first function so del x by del y dot that's going to be equal to 0 okay so 2 to cancel here here you see uh, this 2 to cancel so finally we have got del f by del y dot is equal to x y dot by root over 1 plus y dot square now let us put these two values uh, of del f by del y dot and del f by del y in equation number one this value one implies d by dx of x y dot by 1 plus root over 1 plus y dot square is equal to 0 this implies x y dot by 1 plus root over 1 plus y dot square is equal to constant let the constant be a so constant is a and squaring both sides squaring both sides we will so get, we get uh, x square y dot square so divide multiplying the denominator on the other side after a square a square plus a square y dot square this implies uh, divide both side by y dot square then you will get this x square is equal to a square by y dot square plus a square okay so from here find y dot square y dot square sorry i have done a mistake y dot square it should, it should be a square by x square minus a square okay so let me clean this okay so a square a square so let me write properly a square by sorry not root x square minus a square okay then y dot will be this e square root of a square is a so root over x square minus a square so y dot is dy by dx so replace the y dot by dy by dx okay therefore dy is equal to we have got a by root over x square minus a square into dx so now let us integrate both sides integration of this so integrating this integrating dy we get y and uh, on the right hand side we will get a cos hyperbolic inverse x by a plus b is constant okay b is constant here and this also implies x is equal to we can write in this form also a cos hyperbolic y minus b y minus b by a okay so this is equation of catenary okay that means the curve shape of the curve should be catenary to get the minimum surface of revolution okay so that means the geometrical form that will be formed due to the revolution of the curve from the two between the two points uh, about a y axis is uh, will be minimum if its shape is catenary so hope you have understood so if you have understood then please share the videos share my videos with your friends and if you are new to my channel subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified then i hope you have enjoyed Thank you for watching.